Welcome back to Pooley TV. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here in a slippery, wet and drizzly Underwood Park after a flash storm laid quite a few millimetres down on us. One of the only true derbies left in the league, Rochdale versus Logan FC. And today is the second edition. Logan, a 3-2 narrow victory at home in the first round. We'll be looking to get something close to that in the second round. Rochdale, of course, under pressure. Lots of things happening on and off the park. We'll be looking to settle the whole week down with a victory here at Underwood Park. The officials for today's match are referee Rebecca Durkow and her assistant referees Anton Chetinian and Rene Coghill. Throw up this near line. Butler, Hairston. Cut out by Bo. Ball for Hastings. Sergeant does well. Takes a touch. Left foot shot. Pushed around the post. At full stretch by White. Butler, short corner. Sweet back to him. Lobs it into the box. Good take from White. Under pressure from Hastings. This time away from the goalkeeper. Sargent will get there first. Ahead of Kemmel. Kemmel holds him up. Ball delivered. Oh, great touch. Garber. White comes and smothers the shot. Garver hand on head. White releases early. Bow. Down the line. Green. Oh, good chip over the top. First time ball in. Kostovsky can't get enough head on it. Ball delivered early. Down by Brown. Sergeant comes away with it. Under pressure. Sweet. Does well. Rolls off Rudkin. Looks to get around him. Gets a touch to the defender. Ball's dropped by Hastings. Has it go. Cleared away by Christo. And away by Bramwell. Butler with the corner. Deep. And Hastings. Got a free head on it. Could have get it on target. Oh, great touch. Kearns gives it. It's long. Rudkin's there, though. Delivers another one into the box. Bo with the shot. Off Burn and out for a corner. White goes long. Nodded down. Touch off Green. Bissett can't get their hair to Sterling, who clears it. Quick throw. Rudkin. Bissett. Drops for Rudkin. Delivers it into the box over Aparicio. Kern. Head up. Rolls it back. Green! Puts it into the roof of the net to give the visitors the lead in the 42nd minute. Oh, some good lead up play and a tidy finish from the young striker. Aparicio will be disappointed there. I think you'll think you could do better. Kearns gets his head up, lays it back, didn't go for power, went for placement and got it perfectly right. Ball in the space, Jakubovic looking for Hairston, ball's cut out, delivered up the park early, cut out again, trapped in the middle of the field, green, brown, Good first time ball from Kearns. Green cuts in. In confidence. Oh, good save, Aparicio. Strong hands. Oh. Rudkin with the ball in. Oh, Aparicio had to be alert at the near post. He's going to be alert again. Ball delivered. Dangerous one. Butler, good header. Brown volley. Straight into the chest of Aparicio. Sweet with the throw. Yakupovic down. Sweet gets it back. Dennis turns out. Square. Butler. Left foot shot. White. Regulation save. Up the park. Off Bissett. Kearns. Bissett back inside. Butler. Bo nicks his ball played on by Green. For Kearns. Pull back. 
Andrew's important foot. Rudkin. Bissett. Looking for options. Christoph. Rudkin. Dangerous looking ball. Andrews! Nearly put it into his own net. Rudkin. Corner. Long. Too long for everyone. Dennis. Gets it back. All clattered by Green Defence. Butler probing ball. Scarver by himself. Ten metres out. Can't direct his shot on goal. White belts it up the park. Kearns comes. Gets the merest of touches. Sterling was in there. Ball's broken free. Ball early. Sweet. Shoots. And again, good keeping from the Logan Custodian. Ball forward. Piss it down. Kearns. A couple of good runs going. Or oh, too many. He's not taken any of them. They've kept possession. That's something they haven't done lately. Oh, great ball from Brown. Bow on. First touch. Kemmel into the box. Demfakovs. Toski! Aparicio saves. And again, a mixture of Aparicio and Butler deny Kearns. Ball dropped into the box. Christoph off the line by Aparicio, I think. Play on. Sterling in there. Chizane gets it wide. Ball delivered into the box. Cleared. Burn with the header forward. Ball played it forward again. Garver outside of the boot. Dispossessed by McGee. Rolls it looking for Kearns, who has a quick check. He's onside, gets his head up, gets over it, gets around, left foot shot straight at Aparicio. Garver just heads it back to him. Corner floated in. Sergeant Kovtoski away for another corner. Throw on this near side. So and that's the final whistle which sees this round 19. Logan Derby end. Rochdale Rovers nil. Logan FC won. Well, Mark, we've not given you much time after the end of the match. I know that you weren't super pleased come uh, the 90-minute mark with the result, but again, sort of sums up Rochdale's plight both on and off the field, I suppose, over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, probably our season. Um, tonight I thought we started fantastically well again and were well on top. Uh, let Logan back in the game or, and um, didn't take advantage, let them come back in and, and they nabbed a goal just before half time. So um, disappointed more in that we didn't take any of our chances. I don't begrudge Logan the victory. I thought it was probably a, a three or four all game, but to, for us not to finish any of our decent chances we had is really, really disappointing. Um, on the club, really disappointing that the the clubs had to close down, but football's still alive and um, it's business as usual in that department. So look, we're building and um, we're gonna rebuild, there's no doubt about it, and we're uh, putting processes in place to do that. So we're looking at it, it's a good thing, it's had to happen. Uh, it's been going on for since I came through when I was 15, 16 years old. So for it to finally have an ending and, and be good to go now, we're, we're really excited. On the field, again, plenty of things to work on at the training paddock, but I think it really does boil down to basically not being able to put the ball in the back of the net at the crucial times when you need. <laughs> yeah, we, we conceded less goals tonight than what we have in the past four or five weeks. So if you want to look at the positives, um, we got five last week and none this week. So there's a negative. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, one week we look really good, the next week we struggle. The conditions were crap tonight, the first half. You know, play to your conditions, we couldn't play football. We get the ball forward, they did the same and whoever took their chance won, which they did, so. Two from two in the derby with Rochdale. Five years ago, would you have thought that you would have been standing in this position? 
Uh, not at all. I don't think we would have uh, thought we'd be here so quickly. We always had that ambition to be here, um, but to come to such a prestigious club like this and to win win the game away from home in, in trying conditions is a you know a testament to the hard work that's gone on behind the scenes. The boys got the work done today, but there's been a lot of other hard work gone done to literally be here. To be fair, you know, Rochdale are uh, the benchmark. Like you think about how many titles they've won as a senior team, as a reserves. You know, it was only a few years ago they were winning the youth league undefeated. They were winning the second youth team undefeated. Their reserves are winning. You know, they were just such a dominant force. And a few things off the park have changed for them. And now they're in a rebuilding phase. And, and we're in a sort of a, a growth phase at the minute. So we're, we're taking two different paths at the minute. But... We took a lot of what they did and, and, and done it our way, but we've taken a lot of good things that they've done and, and used that for our advantage. And Not much spoken of uh, Whitey in goals, in the top three keepers in the league. Again, made some crucial saves at crucial times for the side tonight. Uh, tonight it was probably rewarding for him in the fact that we kept the clean sheet and he was safe as a house again, you know what I mean? We've been working on a few little things this year, but he's clearly the best keeper in the league in terms of potential. He's certainly got a, a bigger and brighter future away from the club. If that opportunity arises that he can pick up something bigger and brighter as a professional footballer, we, um, we want that to happen for him and we'll make that happen for him. Yeah, it's probably hard to keep the smile away. Um, you know, the probably disappointing thing is we've won tonight away from home against Rochdale, which is such a massive thing. And we've, we've dropped points in previous weeks where, to be fair, we've been better in games and just haven't, haven't finished teams off. And unfortunately for tonight, we didn't allow Rochdale to finish us off. So, you know, you'd be nice to be sitting here still in the hunt for the fall where I think the nucleus of the group will be in that hunt next season and we, we, you know, we're only really two players off that and um, we've got those two players for next year so hopefully if everything goes to plan for pre-season next year we'll be talking about top four aspirations and uh, we'll go from there and as long as we finish this season off with, uh, with no more losses, three wins or, or two wins and a draw, happy days for Logan FC. In the cameras will be out at Eric Evans Oval tomorrow for Ipswich Knights Clash with Eastern Suburbs.